while we're doing it. Open and transparent governance has always been one of our priorities, and we have been actively exploring the ways through which social media can deepen democracy and make it more meaningful in our everyday lives. And so, knowing that it can be difficult for the ordinary Filipino to view his government as accessible and transparent, we are taking the first step in coming to you. It's my hope that this localized version of YouTube and that these two government channels will become instrumental in spurring the Filipino people to become more involved in governance, starting with familiarizing themselves with the issues. In a time when it has never been easier to reach millions, even billions of people in a few minutes, the Filipino people can indeed be a powerful force. Armed only with your cell phones, you have the ability to report problems from relatively minor matters such as pothole-ridden roads in your district to bigger ones like the abuse of authority and corruption. You have the ability to tell the rest of the world that you're being part of the solution, whether capturing your fellow Filipinos working together in relief efforts for typhoon victims or by posting videos that show the inherent talent of the Filipino people when it comes to problem solving. And ultimately, you have the ability to become involved in shaping the history and the culture of our country in partnering with your government towards achieving lasting and inclusive progress here in our country. And so with the launch of the with the launch of a version of YouTube customized for the Filipino people, I invite you all to log in to the internet, explore this domain. Whether in le real life or in the virtual world, we must never forget that we are part of a community. Let us use this resource not just to entertain ourselves, but to also turn YouTube into the greatest classroom the planet has ever seen, where we can debate, discuss, analyze, and share our problems and also the solutions to these problems. Now, in connection with this, I'd also like to announce that President Aquino has agreed to take part in the Google YouTube Worldview interview series, which has seen different world leaders and luminaries answering selected questions from people all over the world during live interviews aired on YouTube. President Barack Obama of the U.S., Prime Minister David Cameron of the United Kingdom, and Prime Minister Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero of Spain are some of the few of, leader, of the leaders who have participated in these interviews. Our president will be joining their ranks when he's interviewed on November 4th of this year, the first Asian head of state to do so. So I'd like to invite you all to participate in this unique event. You can do so by submitting your questions via www.youtube.com worldview and by voting for the questions that you want answered beginning October 21st. Or more simply, you can watch the president's interview as it airs on November 4th and take a quieter, although no less important, role in, dis in the discussion by keeping yourself informed of the issues that will be addressed. The power you have in your hand, the power of a single click to choose the video you want to watch, to express your like or dislike for a video, and to type your comments on what you see can change the world. And we've seen that already this year in many parts of the world, like in, in North Africa and the Middle East. So we do have all that power. Let's make sure that we use it to make our country and our world a better place. Thank you and good day. So thank you very much, Mr. Secretary, for those kind remarks. What I'd like to do at this point is take the opportunity to have a photo opportunity. And what I'd like to do is ask you to come back onto the stage, if you don't mind. Um, and to join the Secretary, I'd like to call on the following people. So the Under Secretary Manuel uh, Quezon III. We have Mr. Howie Severino. Mr. Mark Lopez. Mrs. Debbie Geiter. Mr. Francis Reyes. Mr. Chad Sotelo. Mr. Julian Persaud. Mrs. Joanna Catalano, Mr. Adam Smith, Mrs. Anne Lavin, Mr. Gautam Anand, and Mr. Anthony Zamakas. Thank you.
So I'd like to thank very much the Secretary Ricky Cannon-Dang and Under Secretary uh, for being with us today. So at this point, what I'd like to do is to uh, close the first half of uh, our session. And what we will do is we'll close and we'll take a 10 minute break uh, and you can enjoy some coffee and some, uh, some snacks. Thank you very much. Sorry, just a bit more information. After the 10 minutes, we will be back uh, for the panel session. Thank you.